Hello, in this video we're going to take a quick look at drafts. Uh, drafts are a way where you can start a post um, or a page and then you can go ahead and come back to it later. So there are a couple of different ways to go about this. We're going to focus on uh, doing drafts for uh, uh, posts, but I will talk about drafts for pages right at the end of this video. So the first thing here is we're on our dashboard and this is something that has changed from the 3.x versions of WordPress, so some of you may be useful uh, used to that, to the 4.0 version and there, now there's what's known as the quick draft area. And so what you can do here is you've got an idea, you want to kind of like leave yourself a note saying, hey, I want to write a blog post about this. You want to get it into the system, but you don't want actually people to see it yet. So I'm just going to go ahead here and uh, tell you, uh, this is an example draft post. And I've already got some dummy text that I'm going to just go ahead and paste in here. And you'll notice the box expanded as uh, we did that. Now all those red lines are because it's spell checking for English and I've actually pasted in some Latin. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to go ahead and click Save Draft. Now that did not publish a post for me. What it did was it started a post, left it in the system, but did not publish it for people to see. And you can see here I now have a list of uh, one draft that is actually available to me. So that's one way to create a draft. I'll show you how to get back to it in a minute. We'll talk about another way. I'm going to go ahead and go over to posts and then add new. And I'm going to create another post here. And so this is another post or draft post. And I'm going to go ahead and paste my text in there. Now in this case, as we talked about in the post video, you would want to set a category. You would want to uh, choose your format possibly. And then generally, if this was done, you would now click Publish. But what we're going to do instead, instead of clicking Publish, we're going to say, hey, I'm not done with this yet. I want to get back to it later. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save Draft. And then what's going to do here is it's going to say right up at the top, Post Draft Updated. Um, and here is it's my title and my description. So at this point, whether I'm now at the, if I go back to the dashboard, in fact, let me do that. I'll go to the dashboard and you'll see here I now have two drafts listed. I can do a couple of things. One is if I wanted to work out in either of these drafts, I could go ahead and click on the titles. That would bring up the edit page for me, uh, and uh, excuse me, the edit screen for those, these posts, and I can go ahead and edit them. Also now, if I go ahead and view all posts, you will see here that my two newest posts, these are ones that I've published previously, and here are the, the two that I just created, and they are both listed as draft. So at this point, what I can do if I want to edit one of these is I can go ahead and select edit. This will open it up, allow me to edit it as I see fit. Let's say in this case, maybe I want to bold this sentence. We'll just do something nice and simple here. Okay, and now if I want to publish this, I can go ahead and click publish. It will publish my post. It will now be up for people to read. And if I go back to my all posts lists, you will see here that um, this one is now published. It is no longer listed as a draft. Here, this one is listed as a draft. If you want, you can actually go ahead and um, just, excuse me, I'm clicking on the wrong spot. Go ahead and just view the drafts. Notice here we have all published and draft. Now when you only have five total posts, this isn't very useful, but when you get it into hundreds of posts, this might be. And we can go ahead and click on draft right here and see only the posts that are currently listed as drafts. Okay. I'm gonna go back to all here, okay? And you'll remember I only have my one draft post now. If I go back to my dashboard, you will also see I only have my one draft post because the other one is published. Now when it comes to pages, this pretty much works exactly the same way. If I was to go ahead and add a new page, and so uh, this is a draft page, and I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, paste my uh, text into there again. Just like with posts, I can publish it or I can save it as a draft. I'm gonna go ahead and save that as a draft. And then if I go back and look at all of my pages, you will see that I have my, this is a draft page here, it's listed as a draft. If I want to edit it, I can go ahead and edit it and uh, then publish it once I've made those changes. Now, one other thing I want to show you um, here with pages, which this will also apply to posts, but more useful for pages. Let's say you've created a page about um, what's going on uh, for the summer at your library. You've got a, a regular event that's going to come up every summer, probably summer reading set. 
you could go ahead and create a page about summer reading, have it show up, and then when summer reading is over, you might want to take that page down until you're ready for next year's summer reading program. But you don't necessarily want to delete that page because you want to reuse a lot of that content. So what you can do here is um, you can find that page, and I'll use my draft one here as an example. Here's my quick edit. And if I click on quick edit, there's a couple of things I can do here. Uh, some of these I've explained already in the pages post. But here on either both a page or a post, you can change the status from draft to published or pending review if you set up uh, a review process, which we talked about in the users page when it comes to users, or excuse me, the users video when it comes to uh, user rights. So I can right here set this to publish and go ahead and uh, click that. And then if I move my camera out of my way here, you will see update. Now this is another way I can publish something. So I've published that. If this was my summer reading program, I could go ahead and quick edit that. Summer reading program is over. I'm going to go ahead and save that back as draft. So change the status to draft and update. That will take the page out of the system, uh, excuse me, out of the public view, but leave it here in the system. So under quick edit, you can use published and draft to kind of turn pages on and off. You can also do that with blog posts, but I would say usually once you've published a blog post, you generally don't want to retract it. So that's how you can use drafts to do certain things with uh, both pages and posts. Basically what it boils down to is I'm not done with this yet or I want to take it out of circulation and I'm going to put it back again later. As usual, if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment below this video and I will be happy to help and thanks for watching.